After fleeing police from South Everett to Smoky Point to Lake Stevens and finally just south of Stohomish, this driver is taken away on a stretcher. Investigators say that, in the end, the driver drove directly toward a state trooper, prompting police to shoot him. But they say even that didn't stop the guy from being difficult, adding law enforcement only got the upper hand after tasing the man too. As you can see the, uh, with the parking lot, he gets cornered. Uh, he corners himself in the, in the back corner of the gas station parking lot, turns around. Trooper does, troopers at this point get out of their vehicle. He accelerates hard towards the troopers and that's when the uh, shots were fired. Uh, after two shots into the windshield, uh, one of them apparently striking the subject in the shoulder, uh, they give him, he gets out of the vehicle, they give him verbal commands, uh, he's non-compliant, uh, they try tasing him, still non-compliant, try tasing him a second time, and that's when they ultimately get him uh, under control and, uh, and under arrest. Investigators say it all started about a half hour earlier. Around 6.30 this morning, the suspect was driving northbound on I-5 on 128th when a um, trooper attempted to pull him over. At that point, the suspect continued northbound at high speeds. The original trooper got him speeding 105 miles per hour in the 60 mile per hour zone. The uh, subject obviously wasn't going to stop for the trooper. The trooper wasn't able to catch up. There's another trooper north of that location who initiated the pursuit. Sometime on I-5, they terminated, ter terminated the pursuit, but then later re-engaged. They deployed spike strips near 88th Street on uh, northbound I-5. Uh, got at least one or two of the uh, tires on the suspect's vehicle. After driving over the spike strip on I-5, the suspect continued driving recklessly with at least one flat tire. State police say they backed off their pursuit, but kept sight of the suspect as he drove east on State Route 531. Even after the suspect ultimately turned south on State Route 9, a trooper clocked him doing 93 miles an hour. No word yet on the suspect's name, the extent of his injuries, or why he seems to have so desperately wanted to avoid police. In Snohomish, Mark Horner.